Hi, my name is Max and I want to introduce you to LaTeX. LaTeX is a program you can use for writing, just like Word, but it works a little different and it's a bit difficult to learn, so that's the reason why we're making this video course, we want to help you learn it easily. But why bother, why would you learn LaTeX if you got Word? Well, there is a number of reasons and in my opinion the most important one is that LaTeX gets everything done automatically. So it gets your layout right, you don't have to do anything about it if you don't want to. Um, it manages your references or your schemes, your formulas or anything. And especially if it comes to large documents, this is a huge benefit. So you don't want to write your bachelor thesis or any large document or even your doctoral thesis in Word. This is a typical case where it would be good to use LaTeX. And don't worry, you don't have to believe me right away, I'm going to show you examples. In mathematical or scientific areas, LaTeX already is the standard program. Reason for that probably is that formulas are expressed much more convenient and prettier compared to the formula editor in Word. But I want to take it a step further, I want you to use LaTeX on any kind of document that should look professional. So if you're writing on a thesis for university, perfect. If you're designing your CV or application letter, why not consider LaTeX? Even for creating presentation slides, LaTeX can help you achieve beautiful results. But that's enough theory, let's head to the examples. For this, I prepared two PhD theses that were written at my university. One was written in Word, one in LaTeX, and in both cases there was absolutely no effort to put in the layout. So here you go. The left one is a thesis in LaTeX, the right one the one in Word. And don't mind the German language, don't mind the content, let's just focus on layout and typesetting here. And I think the difference here is obvious, and it's a huge difference. So the table of contents in LaTeX just looks really good, and the one in Word, it looks awful. I'm sorry to say that, but I don't think you can describe it in any other way. Another fun fact is that the table of contents here contains links, so we can easily navigate inside the document. So maybe let's go here. And if we take a further look here, this picture just continues. So yeah, here we are. Um, and I really don't want to get into detail here, and neither should you, because it's the oral image that affects the reader's first impression. And the overall image here is just obvious, in LaTeX it looks much better than in Word. And of course, if you want your document to look good in Word, then you can dedicate your time to this. And maybe after some hours of work, it might even look as good as here on the left side. But I want to emphasize here again that this is just the standard settings in LaTeX. And after a video course, you will be able to create documents looking just like this, with no extra effort put in the layout. And I think it's a huge benefit that you don't have to waste your time on the layout when you can spend it on the content. And that's pretty much the whole idea of LaTeX. Okay, so now some examples from my own experience. So one year ago or so, I had to write some protocols for a lab course, and at this point I didn't know LaTeX, so naturally I chose Word. Um, and yeah, I, I wanted to optimize the layout, um, so I put some effort in it, and what I came up with in the end was protocols looking just like this. Even now I think this looks quite nice, and back then I thought this was it, this was the way how I would write protocols for pretty much the rest of my university career. But then I discovered LaTeX, and I tried learning LaTeX by converting a word protocol into LaTeX. And after not even a day of work, um, what I came up with was this here. So obviously we have no color here, but on the other hand I would say that in scientific documents color isn't necessary anyway. But if you want to add it, you can of course absolutely add it, it's no big deal. Um, and then I would say it's a, it's a matter of details. Um, so for example, the gap between the text and the, and the title or the text and the figures works out a bit better than Word. And also um, maybe the, the general layout of the page, so the ratio between the, the text broadness and the broadness of the page. Um, so. Uh, in, in an overall image, I would really say that this LaTeX document already looks better than the Word document, even though uh, I haven't done anything on the, on the layout. So um, yeah, I think this is a huge success. And yeah, since then I used LaTeX for pretty much every document that had to do with my study. And they look better and better. And yeah, I was more satisfied every time. And even more importantly, every time I saw protocols from people who didn't use LaTeX, I was like, thank god I learned it. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to be a person with the prettiest protocols in your course, then go ahead. I think LaTeX is your choice. The last example I want to show you today is another doctoral thesis, which I think really looks extraordinary. Just to give you a perspective what is possible with LaTeX. And the one I'm talking about is this here. 
The first thing we notice here is that it has a two-sided layout because it was written in the book format. Um, you can see it here. Uh, and also uh, the table of contents uh, looks quite cool because it has color and also some special typesetting. Here are the small caps and so on. Uh, and then we uh, have uh, here hyperlinks at our page number. So let's click on here. And then we are at the text. And this also looks really unique because here we have the number of the chapter displayed really big. Mm, and then uh, there's a kind of two column layout uh, on, the, on the left side, the normal text, and on the right side, some keywords, which makes it easier to read. Uh, and also we have here colored references. Uh, and an overall image, I would say that this really looks special. And if one day I will write the doctoral thesis, this is definitely the way I want it to look like. And the good news is that this really isn't that hard to accomplish. You just need to download a template that someone created uh, and then you can start right away writing in the design of your choice. And maybe we'll get to this in some video. So that's it. I hope to have convinced you to use LaTeX. Please give it a shot or at least watch the next videos in order to see more. Please tell us whether you agree with our opinion and LaTeX is better than Word. And also tell us what you thought about our examples. I would love to discuss this with you. The next video will be about the installation process of LaTeX. This is really easy, therefore it will be a really short video. And right after that, we're going to begin our first document. So I hope to see you in the next video and thanks for watching.